Hello YouTube. Uh, hello YouTube pipe community. This is my introduction. Um, I've been following for a while now, for I don't know, a couple years. I've been smoking a pipe for a couple years. Uh, and like a lot of you, you know, you watch the videos on YouTube here about different tobaccos, different pipes, uh, and so forth. And I think, well, I guess I was one of those lurkers, which that's a weird term, man. It almost makes you feel like a creep. But I, I wanted to feel people out. And um, before I jumped in and showed my face, and I wanted to get a feel for a while. And um, and it's been it's been a uh, the community is, is amazing first and foremost. Uh, I've met some great people, made some friendships. Uh, the kindness is just unbelievable. I mean, I've been involved in a lot of different things in my life. And honestly, the uh, pipe and tobacco, the beard communities are just, uh, just some top-notch people, man. I mean, um, and you're going to have bad apples and all. But one thing I do got to say, for as long as I've been watching and uh, following and observing, if you know if you're one of those people that like to drum up drama or you know you're miserable you get weeded out pretty quick and that's one thing I've noticed and I like uh, people aren't going to tolerate it um, we all have a passion and it's all similar so we you know there's no room for the negativity at all but um, you know I've been smoking a pipe I'm not smoking one now I got a head cold sinus thing kicking it's been tearing me up for a couple days and um, I just didn't want to doing put myself back a few steps so i figured i'd just lay off the tobacco for a day or two which sucks but it is what it is but um you know pipe smoking man i love it you know um uh, it's a great way to relax um you know who doesn't like to smoke and smoking out of pipes uh it's cool it's a cool thing man i really dig it um well man this is weird I thought I was going to have this. I thought I was going to be able to whip this baby right out. And, but uh, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But starting to warm up here in the shop. I came out to the shop to do this video. And uh, it was a little cool out here. <laughs> so I got it fired up just for this video. And um, so we'll see what's going down. But, um, well, a little bit about me, I guess. Here, uh, born and raised in West Virginia, where I still live. I love this state. Um, my current job that I had, uh, my last job, I should say, uh, I was become a chief engineer of a water department, and um, it was time for a change. Uh, I had to change my life around. I just wasn't happy being on call. I wasn't happy being a welcome mat anymore, pretty much. So um, changed my life to what is now 304 Woodworks, which you can find me on Instagram. Um, some of you already know who I am, which, um, by the way, Thank you so much um, for the comments, uh, people that have purchased off me and placed orders. You have no idea. I never thought in a million years that y'all would like what I do. I, <laughs> it, it, it just, um, I made a change and um, for my life. And um, I'm a simple country boy. I don't, I don't need a lot of things in my life, trust me. And um, I just wanted to produce a good product and. You know, one thing that's funny, you know, I sell these ashtrays, and y'all don't even ask how big they are. I mean, and everything, it's just like the trust and the quality. When, and, and the best compliment I get, honestly, is I'm priced too low. Man, that's a hell of a compliment. Because <laughs> I'm happy with, you know, what I make off of them. And um, I'm not greedy. And um, I just want y'all to be able to get a good product. I mean, to me, making something with your hands and putting heart and soul in it and uh, putting emotion into it. Uh, you, you really can't buy that, honestly. I mean, what artists and um, craftsmen go through to produce some things, honestly, uh, it's an emotional ride. And uh, to me, this is my therapy. This is a way for me to get out um, and get paid for therapy instead of paying for it. <laughs> but... Uh, but yeah, I mean, um, God, the love you all have showed me uh, is just overwhelming, man. Honestly, I, I and I, that's what I'm saying. I, it, it's just uh, to meet people um, like I have, and there's so many of them. Um, you know, two bit leather, two bit Piper. He just did his first uh, YouTube uh, introduction, and we were talking about it. And I told him, "You ought to do it, man. If I'm going to do it, you ought to do it." And I said, "If this country boy can do it, I know you can." Well. When you know it, he did one yesterday. 
and he beat me to it. Holy hell! But you know, uh, uh, Chris, uh, True Defense, uh, that guy. He, he's uh, he's been a pleasure. You know, he asked me if I had a logo, and I sent it to him, and he um, he he just uh, tweaked it and took some time, which I thought was uh, oh, extremely nice. You know, somebody to take time. Um, you know, and do something for you, um, and that's that's a lot of respect. You know, um, there's been other guys. I mean, um, I got tobacco last week from Little Puppet. Um, can't remember the rest of the name. Gerald is name. He's also on here. I'm sorry, I don't remember the rest of it. Uh, your 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 tag there, but um, he sent me some English tobacco and um, some snuff, and the um, it was just awesome. I mean, I, I wanted to try the snuff. It, yeah, I dig it. A uh, little perfumey. I mean, it. I was cool with it until I put the analogy that I kind of smelled like I was swimming in some old lady's drawers. Then I started thinking about all them church women and stuff. Well, boy, it was just tough to handle after that. So uh, when I use that analogy to it, that kind of, yeah, yeah, that wasn't too hot. Yeah, I didn't really dig it. But hey, I said it and whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, but it did. It, it felt like I, I was doing some serious swimming, and some old ladies' panties. God, it just had that perfume, old lady powder smell. But it had high nicotine contents of hell. After a few blasts up the nose and a few beers, my Peter was in my watch pocket. But to drink beer and be buzzed up like that and smell that, I was waiting for a regret or guilt to kick in. I mean, it was. Uh, it was a little disturbing, actually. But anyhow, he was a hell of a good gun. He sent it to me. And, uh, Gerald, thanks a lot, man. I didn't think my face would ever smell like an old lady's pair of panties, but some they did. But anyhow, uh, you know, I made him some ashtrays and stuff, and <laughs> I can't believe I said that. But anyhow, um, but he's it, been a great. He's actually bought a couple ashtrays and a couple tampers off me, and I don't know. He might even got a toothpick holder. I can't remember sometimes, but. Um, uh, he's been a great guy. Um, I got tobacco from uh, uh, Health Doc uh, Weston. He sent me some tobacco. Great guy. Sent me a keychain, Be Kind keychain. Um, I bought a pipe, uh, a uh, Jay Cackert last week off of JD Hansen 79. Go check him out on uh, Instagram. I don't know if he has a YouTube channel or not. I'm not real sure. Um, great guy. Man, super top notch. Sent me some uh, vanilla cream, which, man. I like that stuff a lot, man. That was sweet. That was right up my alley, man. And um, also got a Jake Hackert from uh, In the Family Stone Mark, and uh, he sent me some Ruffian blend. <laughs> Bam. I was like, this is what I'm talking about. This tobacco is good, man. So I got some off of Distinguished uh, Ruffian Gloria. If you're a Distinguished Ruffian, Distinguished Ruffian Gloria on Instagram, go check out and pick yourself up some, man. It's good stuff. And then, um, oh my goodness. Uh, there's so many people. I, I don't. Even, I feel bad even naming because there's been so many of y'all that uh, have been gracious. But um, but anyhow, a little bit about three or four woodworks. I, I wasn't trying to keep y'all too long, burn your ears up. But um, you know, I, my main goal was just to have fun, man, and uh, make a good product. And um, I know these boys are waiting on their products. <laughs> I told them I was going to show them off, and. Uh, and they've been waiting on them, man. So it's time to show this off. But uh, Two Bit Leather and I made a an exchange, and uh, I wanted to. He, he did my logo and everything too as well. And um, do this real quick. The pipe pouch he made me. This thing is fantastic, man. I'm telling you. Got it right in there. Got the pipe. Y'all see this? I know. I got the pipe. Oh, you can see right there too. This is another thing. Bam. Distinguished ruffians. Boys and girls, show your green, show some love. Great, great, great. We'll talk about that later on down the road, but this is always in here. And uh, great work. Uh, I carry it around a lot, which makes me feel a little weird. Because I feel like I got a man purse, like one of them, I don't know, like a metrosexual or something. I, don't, I think that's the word. Pa fancy pants guys or something. I, I'm living here in the hills. I, I ain't no city boy. And he also. Made me this mat with my logo on it. I really dig it. And uh, so I wanted to show you my appreciation. So I made him a ashtray with turquoise and brass 
inlays. It turned out real nice. Oh, there's the magnet there. It's something I want to show you all too. Cork knocker fits nice and tight. Trust me. If I, I wouldn't be doing this here if, it, if I didn't know my stuff. But some of y'all live in humid areas. I didn't want this fit to be too bad. So I left a little bit, but you know, this here, it ain't going nowhere. Uh, I don't advise picking it up because some of these ashtrays, these ashtrays do have some weight to them now. Um, here's this tamper, got a matching tamper inlays there. I love these tampers, I really do. Uh, hidden pokers, uh, nice good fit, it ain't gonna come off, you ain't gonna lose it. I don't play like that. Uh, the tampers, honestly, my tampers from now on, um, I'll no longer do without the hidden poker. It just don't make no sense. I mean, that's that's like wiping your tush before you crap, man. It, it ain't no damn good now. But that's one of them there. Uh, here's another tamper that's uh, going out to a gentleman. And, oh, my God, I cannot remember his name. Isn't that something? This is made out of spalded tamarind. I think that's how you pronounce it with a mortar wood base. There we go. Hidden poker. Snap fit, baby. That's how we do things. We ain't trying to give y'all something goofy. Here's the ashtray for and the family stone mark. This is that spalded tamarind with black jasper inlays with, with brass shavings in it. These turn out real nice. Again, you know, it fits right there. Some of these you can pick up like that there by the magnet. Um, some of them you just can't. Depends on the weight. Like again, the cork's in it. It's a good fit. I ain't trying to get y'all tell you something. I ain't worth a damn, that's for sure. Uh, his tamper. That goes along with it. Mortar wood base. Black jasper brass inlays. Again, uh, got the hidden poker in there. You gotta have that. Well, that's a useful tool. I really dig that. That makes things really nice, trust me. I, I, I dig it. Uh, another product I got going out, the Firestar. This one's going out to Surly Kid. I made this here for myself, and well, I like it so damn much. I want to send it to him. I want him to use it. This is a little something, you know. You got to get them fits just right. I, I want to be able to protect them. And uh, you know, if you're out camping or out partying, getting tore up from the floor up, you got to start a fire. I want to help you out with that. Um, I got a lot more ashtray designs coming out. Oh, hell, I think there's about six or so that I'm working on. Uh, I'm really stoked about it. I'm really pumped up. It's it's going to be a good thing. And, uh, uh, and again, with the pipe tampers, uh, I won't be doing um, brass casings on them anymore. I just want to stick with the wood. Uh, if you all want some tampers with brass casings on them, uh, there's a lot of boys making them. Actually, I'm going to give the stock that I have to the ink piper. Uh, i got to make him a tamper, and I'm going to send him all the brass that I have. And... Uh, Actually, I'm going to, hey, I'll tell you what, Ink Piper, the Ink Piper, if you're watching this, brother, DM me on Instagram. Let me know what woods you don't have. I got some rare woods here, man. I'll turn you out some dials, brother. Get you rolling, get you some stuff, and uh, hell yeah, man. Get you rolling. I dig it. But um, there'll be some other things coming up, uh, some cigar-related things, some more pipe-related accessories. Um, big time deal on the ashtrays. And... Um, so uh, I'm really looking forward to all that, and um, and like I said, people, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. And I know I see the time's running up. I think I only got like 15 minutes or something like that. So I just want to leave everybody with this here. You know, respect everyone and everything as you respect yourself and treat everyone and everything as you want to be treated. It's easy, folks. We can do this together. Just remember, spread the love.